racing from the 2000 meter marker. Not a bad beginning this one and Tinkle is one of the first out, Amber Bell is near the rail, Jamaica Bay is between the two of them, Orient Express with the Czech blinkers, Bell of Paris has got the real headgear being passed by Disney Princess, Call Me Tonight's one of the trailers about four or five lengths off them, there's no speed on. Bell of Paris now takes it up, Jamaica Bay near the rail, then Orient Express, Disney Princess has hooked a couple deep and then comes Fontaine followed by Tinkle. Amber Bell's further back in the run and Call Me Tonight's the trailer. Now about seven lengths off the leader. And that leader is Bell of Paris by two. In second is position is Disney Princess. At the rail Jamaica Bay then Orient Express and Fontaine. They are followed by Tinkle and then Call Me Tonight and Amber Bell's the trailer about eight or nine lengths off the leader. They move now towards the 900 meter region and Belle of Paris continues to lead it. Jamaica Bay is second and prop on the outside Disney Princess. Fontaine Orient Express call me tonight and further back is Tinkle and Amber Bell can't go with them. Belle of Paris by three, Jamaica Bay second, Disney Princess, Orient Express and Fontaine travel together. Then comes Tinkle, further back, call me tonight, bow to be homeward bound, and then Amber Bell. Top of the lane, and Belle of Paris is the leader, Jamaica Bay. On the outside, Disney Princess, Orient Express, the blue cap on the outside, and Fontaine's down the inside. Jamaica Bay now, and Belle of Paris coming to the last 250. Orient Express is battling to quicken, then Fontaine. Jamaica Bay over the last 100 meters from Belle of Paris. Orient Express is on the outside, but Jamaica Bay is going on, and Jamaica Bay is going to win it. So Jamaica Bay will come over and win it by about four lens. Orient Express second, then Belle of Paris, and call me tonight. Tenth time at the track for Jamaica Bay, the Crusade. It ends up toad favourite, 240. Going into the stores, Orient Express was still the favourite. But Jamaica Bay for Doug Campbell, they win it. And Lyle Yutzen at 2 Rand 40. Second to number four, Orient Express. Third to Belle of Paris, the long time leader. And then Call Me Tonight. Further back is Fontaine. We'll take a look at that head on shortly, then Disney Princess. As we look at this, Jamaica Bay sneaks through towards the inside and goes on to score. And this one is also bred by Bruce Campbell, Quintus and Massey Hicks. And they win it at the 10th time of asking. That's the running of the 4th. Back to the studio. Well, Jamaica Bay has cracked it right on the 10th time at the track. Uh, well done to trainer Doug Campbell, who I'm told by Steve Benton is on holiday. And uh, he's taking care of the string while Doug's abroad. Lyle Hewson, the winning jockey. But uh, Steve, firstly, you know, well done. Doug's away. Is string still going strong? Yes, keeping, keeping going at the moment, yeah. Mm. And uh, this filly, she took her last run exceptionally well? Perfect, perfect. Yes, that's why we opted to take the chance 10 days later, but, and she came through very nicely, yeah. And, and things did not go according to plan last time out. She raced wide, and, but she had a nice draw today. Yeah, everything fell in place. So she had the draw last time, nothing went in her favour. So with Lyle on board, he knew well enough, and he just used his brains, and, and it came through accordingly. Anything else later on? No, we finished. One runner, one winner. Well, fantastic. Steve, just, just to catch up, I mean, uh, what you been up to, uh, you know, behind the scenes? I haven't spoken to you in a long, long time. Well, myself and my wife, we have a company called Stylish Pets where we make all sorts of uh, dog equipment, dog bandanas, jackets, and uh, any sort of horse equipment as well. And we just crack on with that and we get okay. We do okay. But the, the love for the horses, the passion for the horse will never die? Never does. Never does. Well, you're keeping yourself busy <laughs> helping Doug and you're doing a fine job. So well done there, Steve. Thanks very much. Lovely. That's Steve Bench. And Doug, when you get this DVD or if you're watching, well played. Your filly has come through. Yeah, we discussed it last time out. Things did not go according to plan. No, you know, um, last time I thought it was a field of a pretty similar makeup, and uh, from the wide draw, I said I won't make it up if I drop it, drop to last. So I decided to go forward and got trapped deep without the cover, and uh, still ran a very creditable race. So um, 
really happy that I could get a board today from a good draw. Um, they kept this horse in great condition, so well done to them. I think it's a great team effort to, to get the horse to bounce back and uh, even improve off that. So, yeah, fantastic, and thanks for this opportunity. Down the lane, uh, you know, I don't know what was going on, whether she's still clumsy or what, but uh, I saw you just urging her along down the lane, and she seemed to be changing legs as well. Yes, um, she, she seemed to want to hang out uh, throughout the race. You know, on the turn, I never ever really hugged that rail. Always looked to run out, and, um, you know, with the, the pace picking up up front, I, I led to start stretch on. Um, and she was just waiting for me to really ask the question. And when I did, she moved up, hit the front, and uh, began to hang out again. And it was more just trying to get it to balance up and go straight. Um, and just needed to change onto that right leg again. And uh, fortunately enough, she had enough uh, uh, break on them, and she kept right into the line. So, yeah, very nice win. And uh, like I said, to the team, well done to them. Okay, you got one on the board, Lyle. You've got three more rides to come. You assessed your opposition. Anything you like? Look, you know, I come into the course that I thought uh, Moshina was, uh, was the only horse to to come home lonely today and um, you know unfortunately that was a, a, a scratching and you know then Jamaica Bay uh, looked after me and came home with a winner so whatever comes after this I'll be really grateful but with saying that uh, I don't think the horses are without chances um, I think they, they will be pretty competitive and um, you know it won't be a surprise for one to win but um, there's nothing I'm really strong on. For you guys that are riding on Saturday this is a build up time now it's exciting that uh, we got some fantastic racing over the weekend that I'm sure you guys and whoever's involved on the day looking forward to. Yes, um, amazing racing, you know, really, really top horses on show. Um, you know, we, we've got some fantastic horses in South Africa and I think 90% of them are running on Saturday. So that's uh, it's really great for, for our public and for ourselves to be in, in those races. Um, this whole week for me is a build up of fitness, you know, I've got 12 rides on Saturday and um, yeah, every, everything's going according to plan, so let's hope we can have a, a big weekend. You put on one on the board, yeah? Well played, yeah. Thanks very much. Just well done to Mr. Campbell, Mr. Benton and the whole team, and thank you so much for this opportunity. And of course, to Aventure, congratulations. Nice one. Lyle Hudson teaming up with Doug Campbell here for a winner, and it's number one, Jamaica Bay, one, four, five, and two. That's your provisional result. Race number four.